Right then, Lauren and Karis, thanks a lot for your time today. I followed your career for quite a while because you're friends with Sandy Ryan. Uh, tell me about your Olympic background. I don't know what to tell you really. I, I went to Olympics, I got a bronze medal. It's not what I wanted, but there's nothing I can do about that now. It's what I've got, so I'm just progressing on to the professional ones now. That's cool. How about yourself, Lauren? Yeah, for myself, um, you know, it was a dream of mine since I was eight years of age to go to the Olympics. And yeah, I went to the Olympics, uh, topped it off, you know, by winning gold. And like Kara said, now I suppose obviously you've got gone over to the pro ranks. It's all about, you know, improving and stepping up and having a good year. I'll tell you a true story here. Yeah. Like, I sparred Sandy Ryan years ago. I was asking Clifton Mitchell, oh, yeah, come on, let, let me spar, I can take her. He told me, don't do it, she'll beat you up. I said, mate, she's a woman, I can take her. I got in the ring, I don't like to lay, she beat me up. Do you think people underestimate women's boxing? Um, yeah, you could say that, but I do think people underestimate. A lot of people can underestimate a boxer until they get in the ring with him and then realise what's in front of him. You've underestimated Sandy Ryan, got in the ring with him and she punched her about. <laughs> yeah, I don't like, I'm a straight talker. I mean, I'm not, I'm not an idiot. I've had fights, I've, I've sparred loads of people, but she was too so much. You underestimated her? I underestimated her, yeah. I you thought, doing that? Definitely. You taught you a lesson? Taught me a lesson. But I don't know, I'll give it another go. I'm gonna talk to Clifton today, try and spar her again. Oh yeah? <laughs> no, I'll start again, but this this happened years ago. She's got better since then as well though. Yeah, she's probably she'll probably take me, but I'll give and it a she's go. She's heavier now, so I'll I'll tell Clifton to tell her to take easy on me. Uh, what do you enjoy most about boxing? Is it you know travelling around winning. me? Uh, travelling around uh, me. Winning. Oh winning, sorry, sorry. Winning. 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 I don't like dieting. I hate training when I'm going through it. So yeah. I just get on with it. Um, winning the fight night, having like the support and the crowd behind you. And yeah. Getting your hand raised and that feeling, the push you get after winning, you can't go to sleep that night. It's, just, it's amazing. There's nothing that matches it. Like Fair what have been some of your favourite victories? All of them. Every, oh. every victory is amazing. Fair enough. And last question for today. What can we expect from you in future? You got any particular fighters you want to take on? Any particular divisions? We're all about the belts at the time, you know, when the fight's ready. Um, like I said, this year all about the step ups, yeah, adapting, you know, also when the time's right for them, titles, then where we've got the belts at the time, that's all that's all we're getting. That's cool, thanks so much for your time and I'll talk to your trainer, maybe someday I'll spy you as well. <laughs> I'll tell the trainer to tell you to take it easy on me. I'll pull a sneaky one. Thanks so much for your time. Cheers, Lee.